and then tell you that that place is no longer open, leaving you unable to get service and them unable to get business. I'm at the swimming pool, being annoyed. Can't swim at the moment, but um, but I can talk about something really aggravating that happened today. I found out that potentially for up to the past five years, Apple Maps has been telling Apple product users that my business is permanently closed. My business is not permanently closed, but the location that they had, I was last in at the end of 2019 before COVID and all that. So I don't know how long it's been like this, but it's possible that Apple is responsible for the uh, drop-off that I've noticed in customer volume over the past five years. Since if customers go to Apple's Maps application and looks up my company, it shows that we are shut down, which we have never been. So this is a bigger problem with Apple Maps in general. Apple does not care about the accuracy of their map data. Um, notoriously, Apple Maps has sent people into the middle of the Australian outback, unprepared and unprotected, um, off on some random rough trail road, like logging road in the middle of nowhere in some forest, um, in both cases, leaving those people in serious survival situations. I don't think anybody died, but you can look these up. They're famous situations involving Apple Maps. Um, they also, what was it? There was another one that, that Apple did. Um, they provided directions to people that told them to drive across a sandbar at low tide, which is, I mean, honestly, that's something you should never do. Um, but if you do do it, you need to have a four wheel drive vehicle with a locking differential if you're even going to try that. It's, it's, it's just, no, you, you just, you're asking for trouble if you do that. So Apple Maps is notorious for putting people in life-threatening or at least serious property-threatening situations. And now they have threatened my business, and I looked it up, and it turns out they have threatened a lot of other businesses as well. What seems to happen is Apple aggregates data from other sources. God knows what the source is, because I've changed the address from the one that was on Apple Maps countless times. Um, I've even gone so far as to search for all the old addresses for my business just to make sure that it wasn't incorrectly listed in other places. And sure enough, um, Apple's got this five-year-old address from somewhere. The problem is they got this address, who knows where they got it from, and then they marked it as permanently closed, probably because a customer went there, and my business isn't there, and hasn't been there for years. So I don't know where the information came from, but I have an Apple Business Connect account. I've actually manually added my business to Apple Maps. Yet there was this second entry that was permanently closed that was coming up for certain searches for my business. Um, specifically, if you looked for TriTech Computer Solutions, you would usually find the um, wrong address, I think. No, I can't remember, but it was the correct, like the listing at least said it was open. I think it was the correct address, but I'm not 100% sure. But then if you type TriTech Computers, you would get the wrong address. You would get permanently closed. Both businesses have the same contact phone number and website, but I didn't know there was a duplicate one that was permanently closed. I had no way of knowing that until a customer told me today that um, they were that they found that that they found that I, I had a permanently closed whenever they looked for us, and they this guy is tech savvy. So God knows how many people who aren't tech savvy just saw that, and said, "Oh, I guess that they shut down. I guess I'll have to find somewhere else to go." Through no fault of my own. So this video really is just a plea to never trust Apple Maps. In fact, if you have an Apple product. I have my opinions about Apple products and services, but let's set those aside for a moment. Go get Google Maps. If you're going to use something, use Google Maps. At the very least, they don't royally screw businesses because they're too incompetent to handle random data from data aggregators that God knows where they get it, God knows how much they paid for it. At least, 
Google Maps won't lead you down a sandbar to your death. At least Google Maps won't tell you to drive into the middle of the Australian outback with no resources. At least Google Maps doesn't somehow duplicate a place that's an extremely obvious, even by computer standards, duplicate, and then tell you that that place is no longer open, leaving you unable to get service and them unable to get business. Apple Maps screws you, screws you as a customer, screws the businesses that you want to do business with. Never use Apple Maps. Delete the icons. Get rid of it. And while you're at it, consider switching away from Apple products. They have serious problems, too. I'm not saying that Samsung's stupid flagship phones are better, but my god, I just don't understand how anybody uses Apple stuff these days. It is astonishing how complicated they have made their phones. For something that's supposed to be so simple that any idiot can pick it up and use it, it sure is an extremely difficult device. And the fact that they screw over businesses and the people who need them for their services the case is getting stronger every day for switching from iPhones, iPads, and Macs to not iPhones, iPads, and Macs. But at least you don't have to buy another device. Just get Google Maps. Hmm. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that crap. Take it easy. And uh, screw Apple Maps.